Oh, good morning. The wind is down. This is a beautiful start. I'm waking up super early, hey, and then um, and then I'm just sitting there thinking about what I want to do today. So last day today, but because it's still low light, I might go and have a flick for some squid just down on that point, um, and just see what happens. Maybe breakfast squid, just to seal the deal on the last day. Anyway, we'll grab a few things and what do we got? Rigged up the squid jig. Not that you could see anything that early, but uh, yeah, it's the one I found in Sydney quite a while ago. It's still producing. Anyway, we'll get down there and have a flick. I've got one. <laughs> oh, come on. I've got a long distance to get him in. <laughs> Let's just slowly work him back in. Real slow. Let's loosen that drag right off. Nice loose drag. Let's just slowly, slowly work him in. Geez, that didn't take long. That's third cast. Didn't even have time to turn the camera on. Beauty. Well, there's breakfast sorted. Wow, look at that. How am I going to get him in here? Just got to slowly work him in. How am I going to get him in? How am I going to get him in? Oh, he's a good one. Watch the water comes in. Oh. Do that drag up a bit. Oh, he's grabbed under the rock. Wow, he's a big squid, isn't he? Oh, where can I put him? Just there. Okay. Got to dodge the oysters. Wow. Look at that, eh? That's a squid. It's a good one. Breakfast squid. That is amazing how quick that was. <laughs> Just a few quick uh, casts and we were on there. Oh boy, all right, well, let's go have breakfast. Okay. Just quickly uh, get this guy prepped up. Okay, so get the plastic out. So we'll just gut this uh, guy, and then I'll just go back there and uh, get a few things ready. Ah, damn! I think we broke the inch sack. There we go. So there's the guts out. Not that trackies. Gonna keep these dry. So we'll give him a good wash. And get him ready for the pan. Yum. Clean off the flip up. Oh, look how potent that ink is. What looks like a tiny drop turns into a big mess. <laughs> One last thing is I'll just uh, grab the top of the wings. If you want to see uh, a full breakdown of how to do the squid properly and in more detail, I've got like a chili squid uh, cook up from the last Sydney trip I did. So go and check that out if you want this in more detail. But I'm just quickly doing it now just to get it done. 
Just keep skinning off the wing. Get a good hold of it. You can usually pull it off in one go. There we go. <laughs> You're out. All right, that's good enough for me. The other wing's still on there, but we can peel that off this way, and then try and get that skin off as well. Here we go. And look, to be honest, this little bit of skin, like that amount of skin, really doesn't bother me at all. Rinse these off, take them up there, and we are ready for a breakfast squid cook-up. How good is that? That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, what do we got? Butter, chili, yeah. Yeah, let's just see butter and chili. Let's move this. In fact, it's time to pack up. Let's just get this right off all together. Just a little, we don't need heaps. Just a little cabbage salad to go on the side. Cause we've got it. And then our chili. Not the best enough to be cutting chilies with, but hey. Pan on again. We should turn that on. Have it on relatively low. Oh, still got some label on it. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll get that butter sort of moving around there. It's probably actually too much butter. We might take some of that out and put that in the bin. There we go. Okay, then we'll put our chilies in. See, that pan just loses heat so instantly, it's annoying. Ah, oh, looks like it's gonna be a lovely day though, which is nice. Yum, chili. There's my fork. Scrape out the rest of that. It's a big squid for one person, so we'll see how much we get through here. But it's got to be used. I've got no way of keeping it cold pretty much from this point on. Cut it straight down the center and we'll open it up and just cut into little chunks. Now, because it's squid, we really don't want to cook it very long. So that's why I'll do it in two batches. Try and get the heat on and then pretty much off. Really won't take long. Mix it up. How is this place though? Eh? Okay, give it another stir because those bits on the underside will be pretty much done. We just want to heat it through. Get that chili all through. Oh, you know what we've forgotten? Salt. Definitely need to salt it up. I was just thinking, what's missing there? <laughs> Don't be shy. Get the salt on. Okay, one last stir to move that around and we should be looking good. I might just go and sit down here. Give the old hand a little rinse. I've got like, Plenty of water left over as well, so uh, I can just be free and easy with my water. I'm gonna have to end up tipping some of it out. Let's pop that up there. Now, it's time to eat some squid. Look at that. So, get a bit of chili, bit of squid. How good does that look? Yum. Mmm. It just pops in your mouth with a little bit of chili and a little salt, it's that easy. Hey, like normally I'd use olive oil, but I only have butter here because it's sort of just, it was uh, easier to sort of carry and, and I could freeze and get it cold. 
for the trip over. But um, yeah, I'm just going to sit here, enjoy this squid, enjoy the scenery one last time. I'm starting to realise that if I want to get like on the water by 10, like it's probably already 7 or something now. So I'm starting to think I might have to uh, boycott the crayfish mission. But fresh squid in the morning, I can live with that and I guess uh, we'll come back for the crayfish soon. Uh, I'll definitely be coming back and explore. There's, there's like four or five more little islands that you can do the same thing on around here. So I'll definitely be coming back and giving it another crack. So let's eat this. We'll pack up and we'll see what time we've got. Maybe I'll jump back in the water, but maybe it'll be a bust because even if I do get a cray, I can't cook it at this stage anyway. And I've got, I've got like enough food. I've got all this good to get through. So I think um, we might call that done. On the way here, I tell you, it was very touch and go. But on the way back, should be smooth sailing all the way. Smooth motoring all the way. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's eat this before it gets cold. Mm, yum. Uh, start packing everything up. Move this anchor, check the boat over. There's a few things to get done, but I uh, started cleaning the kitchen stuff up now. Not too bad though, really doesn't take that long. And then we might try and get a couple of pickies and then wrap it up. The sooner I get home, the sooner I can get like everything washed up. I've got to go to work tomorrow and I've got like a nine hour or eight hours worth of driving to do. So seems like a lot of driving for such a short trip, but it's all I could get off. So take what we can get. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Literally, Let's see if there's any water in here. Hey, jeez, who did these up? <laughs> oh. A little, little, little bit. There's nothing to be worried about. All right, rubbish bag. Kept one drink bottle. Everything else is packed into the esky and deflated, and I've saved as much weight as possible because uh, weight is the enemy on that thing. As soon as you get weight, you get wobbles. But the sun is just peeking up on that little area there, so I better just get this tent up and try and dry it up as much as possible. Oh man, I won't miss these things. Oh. <laughs> Look at these giant birds that keep getting stuck in my foot. Oh. Damn, youch. Okay, all right, spread this wet sucker out. Ugh. Another one. God, that's like the tenth one this morning. Almost time to leave. Tide's almost up to the boat now. I had to pull it down a little bit. All right. You go there. And rubbish. Take all your rubbish with you. We're looking good. All that's left is that big bag up there. Tent's packed up. And then a bit of an electronics bag, which will go inside that. But we are pretty much done. All right, let's get this on. See you later, Island. I will make sure I get a longer stint next time. I might turn that camera on before I get going. So I'll never reach it again. I guess we better see if this engine starts. It's going to be key. And then we begin the long journey home. Many hours driving in store. In fact, let's get these phone and everything in here so it's safe. Keys, car keys, definitely need those up there. All right, engine, you've been good so far. Let's not have any dramas. Open this up. Didn't go through half as much fuel as I thought I might. Fuel in, choke out, bit of gas. Oh. A lot of gas. <laughs> yeah, look at all this. Sand everywhere. We are out skis. How cool was that journey? But it's time to make it home. Let's go. Definitely lighter than we were on the way here though. And the weather is a hell of a lot better. 
All right, turn the sounder on just so I can see my speed. <laughs> Let's go one pass over the coral reef just to make sure the engine's working well. How is it? Look at this. It's paradise. That's a little faster. That's a little faster than we could come here. <laughs> so much better.